14 says, But put you on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Don't make any provision. Crucify it. When you put something crucify, you starve it. Put it out there on the cross. Quit going back and trying to take it down off the cross and put it into your life. <laughs> Had one of the members of the congregation there at uh, Oak Ridge. He quit smoking. And uh, so he got ready to go to bed one night and he realized, I don't have no cigarettes here, even though I'm not smoking, but I can't sleep if I don't know that, there was, that if I needed a cigarette, I didn't have one. He had his wife go in the middle of the night to go to Walmart and get him a pack of cigarettes so, to put them there just in case, just in case he goes, needed it, he could go back and he could smoke to do that. She says, she says well, so then you haven't really given it up. You haven't given it up. And he, had, he, he was right back to it again. It's hard for him to get rid of him uh, to stop smoking. But he had it in his life. That's what he wanted to do that. Galatians 5 verse 25 says, If we live in the Spirit, let's also walk in the Spirit. And we close with this. Romans 5, 8 5 says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. The Spirit desires to make you fruitful for Jesus Christ. Set your mind on that. Yes, we want the fruit in the person's life that demonstrates that they are, have love and these different shades of that love in their life, that they're truly a Christian. That's, people shall know them by that. that know that, that you belong to God, that you have the fruit of the Spirit growing in your life. We're going to stand and sing our hymn of decision at this time. Our invitation hymn is 478. Lord, I'm coming home and we'll sing verses 1 and 3. Father and our Lord God, we thank you for your presence through the Holy Spirit here in this service today. Father, I just felt your anointing as I spoke this morning. And felt, uh, Father, I always need your wisdom. I need your di direction. Let me always follow the lead of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will always lead me as where I should go and the way that I should get there. Father, bless us now as we go to our homes. And uh, uh, mm. Father, give us a blessing of peace upon our homes. And bring us back safely to your house at the next appointed time. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Our closing song is hymn 544, Seek Ye First.